Okay, so the purpose of this video is to talk about uh, K40 possible PSU or wiring issue. Now to go back in some time here, what happened was in the middle of uh, engraving, it just the the laser stopped working. The pot the CNC mechanism still worked fine. It kept going. It, it kept going its course, but the laser completely stopped working. So after troubleshooting that, we come to find out it was a PSU issue. Um, so we went ahead and bought a brand new PSU. We got it installed. And now, the laser's getting power, but not sufficient power. The purple beam is lighting up. You can see the purple beam inside the laser. But it's not... It's not really getting any output whatsoever and I'm about to demonstrate what I mean but first to avoid any confusion I just want to go over everything we got going on in here now LED lights and everything going on in here is all on its own power supply um, they're all on 18650s which you can see right here okay I got a 12 volt supply, there's a cover for that, and there's a 4.2 volt supply right here, lithium ion, 18650 batteries. So the 4 volt source powers the LEDs and a couple, um, the voltage display. Okay. It also powers the laser alignment, the dual alignment lasers, and that's it for now. The 12 volt source powers the air pressure gauge which is going to be installed once I get the new custom plate up here along with this main breaker switch right here which is already wired into the the water cooling mechanism. This will that shuts off the water and now the water is on. There's actually three three gates back there so we're going to utilize one more gate and put the main power supply, get rid of that Chinese switch. Um, right up top here, you can see the voltage for everything when they're on. Um, that's the water temperature, and that's the light bulb voltage. Now, the water temp is just a simple, it was like $4 on eBay. It's got a probe that just drops right into the water cooling bucket, and uh, it just tells you in Celsius what your temperature is. And once again, once this panel gets cut, um, this voltage display is going to, that's for, uh, this camera's not picking it up, but that's for the 12, 11 volt source. Um, this illuminates the, all this uh, PSU and friends once this lid is down. Now, this right here is the, uh, the air, air assist. It's going to get all the smoke and out of the way. It, it does a few different things. Um, air assist is right here. Okay. Got an onboard switch for that too. Right there. Sorry if this video is shaky. But, okay. Um, yeah, it goes right through the cable chain. The drag chain. Whatever you'd like to call it. And then down into this 3D printed uh, nozzle. Okay, this is just an LED light to see what I'm doing. I got LED lights all under, under, underneath the, the little lip going around the edge. So that illuminates it pretty well. The camera's not picking it up too great, but it, it, it illuminates it very nice. Okay, so moving right on. Let's see. I just want to get all that out of the way so there's no confusion. I mean, every, there's nothing. The power, the PSU is only powering what it should be. It, there's no mods to that whatsoever. So everything's on its own source. The water's on its own. Everything's on its own source. So, yeah, we're going to get a new panel cut. I should have done that a long time ago. Um, let's see if I can set this camera up so we can get a good idea of what's going on back here. Now, here we go try that I'm, I'm not good at videos so you're hopefully you're bearing with me here
Okay, so what we're gonna do, power it up. CNC mechanism works fine. Um, I usually have it grounded out. I have a, I have a ground metal rod out back about six feet in the ground and uh, I have it grounded out back here but right now just working on it upstairs while it's not in the workshop um, I'm not using the ground because I'm not cranking it up all the way I'm just trying to fix this thing it's been up here for a few weeks with these issues so I kind of temporarily moved the whole well what I could up up here 3d printer and vinyl cutter and computer over there and soldering station so <clears throat> kind of saves on heat so I don't have to heat up the workshop too I'm just doing what I can up here while I'm working with the laser and once the laser's fixed hopefully uh, we'll get it back downstairs in the workshop so uh, the, the power supply unit that w that went dead um, the LED wasn't that green LED light wasn't illuminated very brightly so I guess that was one sign of what was wrong. We tried to troubleshoot it for about a week and asking questions in the forums and the groups and it was just pretty much concluded that I would just need to buy a new PSU. So that's what we did. We bought a new PSU. This is it right here. Okay, but it's not it's not getting adequate power to the to the tube. I'm gonna give you a little shot right here so you can see. Now, we'd be able to, I got tape on the mirror right there just to see if there's anything coming out at all and it's not doing anything, it's not. You can see the tube, you can see the tube light up with the purple, like the, um, there's, there's excitement going on, but not enough to really drive an output in, so, one more time, you can hear that. I'll give it a little more power. We got the, the plot turned up about halfway. It's another thing. I can't wait to get a digital plot because it's hard to play. Yeah, there's nothing coming out there. It's not even touching that. It's it's not even leaving any kind of burn mark whatsoever on, on that piece of tape I got over the first mirror. So, um... I mean, they're decent, really good connections. I got them on there real good, uh, both positive and ground. Uh, you know, I know I know about I know enough about high voltage to uh, not mess around with those connections. So I made sure those were really good while working on high voltage. I stand on that little melt crate back there. I do the best I can to try to take precautions, but I I don't. I leave this thing off for for at least two days before I mess with any high voltage wires. So, but um, I mean that's all I can explain right now. I wish I wish I was a little better at doing videos, but I figured this is the best way I'm going to be able to explain what's going on. Take care.